Hey tubers. You haven't heard from me because I've been on a mental health holiday. I got a new computer. It's a laptop. HP Compact Presario. It's got a lot of memory on it. It's got plenty of USB ports. Hooks up easily to speakers and headphones and microphones. And screen resolution is like jewelry. Output of audio is great. I haven't tried input yet. Um, got a lot of memory on it. Light, easy to carry around. Easy to use in the bed. A lot easier than the PC. Uh, I'm going to need some help transferring stuff from the PC to the laptop because I'm a little squeamish about doing it myself. I got me a one of those external memory things. Should be enough to put the whole computer on it and then I can weed through and see what I want on the laptop. I'm also going to transfer stuff off of that netbook. And uh, hopefully, it may be possible to put a new keyboard on the netbook. I'm going to look up to see how much it costs. Then I'm going to try taking the netbook apart. And if things don't come flying out at me, and if it looks like the keyboard's easy to remove and replace, we're going to do that. Um, to everybody who sent supportive messages and to donated toward the computer project, thank you. I, like I said, I bought uh, external memory with some of it. I got a kind of a shock. I took out a payday loan and the state of New Mexico won't allow them to keep adding fees every month if you ask for payments by the month to pay off a loan. With all my memory problems and whatnot, I um, didn't contact them and make um, payment arrangements. So uh, it's all coming out this month. So it's going to be a tight month. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, well, let's see. So I took a mental health holiday. I checked in on everything I needed to check in on. Email of uh, the genderqueer atheist group on Facebook. Um, way behind on my subscriptions on YouTube. Uh, I didn't... I just took care of the basics in real life you know nobody went without food and water in the cat and dog department I had groceries kept the heat on uh, I'm at the laundromat right now I did put that off it was just too damn cold until a few minutes ago it was bloody windy out here too uh, so uh, you don't have to see me in bed all the time because I can actually get out oh because this little uh, I got a jazz DV140 video recorder cost me 20 bucks. The memory cards cost more than the video recorder. I got that with the money that I earned from doing a transcription job for a real prima donna. God, that was awful. So this month is about looking for work, conquering down, looking for work, saving every dime I can, not spending anything. I have plenty of food stocked up. I shouldn't even need to spend all my food stamps this month. I'll need fresh stuff like produce, milk, meat, but... Um, I'm stocked up on all kinds of canned goods and sauces and condiments and pasta and rice and all that junk. Uh, I'll show you the computer later. I'll do a whole blow by blow. But like I said, if there's a geek available, um, might appreciate some help because I hate transferring stuff from one computer to another. I'm always sure I'm going to screw it up. I have the entire contents of a computer that doesn't even exist anymore on another external hard drive. <laughs> I'm afraid to give it up. I might forget something. So I'm going to have to weed through that. Um, been playing Minecraft. MS Night 5 has it on her server. Somebody bought me a copy so I could play. She has several worlds going on. One with all the cooties that can blow you up and stab you and maul you to death and blah blah blah. And then she's got a modified survival world where the things that blow you up have been curtailed because, and also the things that swipe blocks aren't allowed to swipe blocks. I'd go out every morning. I had a glass roof on my house so I could see sunrise and sunset. You need to know what time of the day it is because at night scooties come out. They come out in the dark. They can't stand daylight. Um, anyway, I'd go out in the morning and do stuff and there's this cootie that explodes and it stays around till noon. So you can't get a lot of work done unless you just stay in the house till noon. And one of them little bastards would chase me down the roof and blow a hole in my roof every day. So I was going out digging sand, cutting down trees to make coal putting the coal in the furnace, putting the sand in the furnace, make a glass box, replace my roof, get up the next day, and same damn thing would happen. So it wasn't just me. I mean, nobody could get anything done because 
cooties were blowing up stuff. But she's got one world where all the cooties are activated. I've been helping her make a community house over there. So people come to that world and have a bed and some food and some supplies to get started. She built a huge strip mine over there. Go over to MS Night 5's channel and you can see all of her Minecraft videos. She's taking some time off from work. Uh, and so I've been playing with her and I've been playing with uh, Brian J1962 who turned her onto it and is also a Minecraft addict. You really can't appreciate the screen resolution and the um, audio output with that game. You really can. I'm getting some feedback that I may have some microphone issues with input, so I'm going to have to play with that. Because if I'm going to do radio, I need to be able to put audio into that computer and have it come out decent. So this will be my virgin YouTube video with my brand new camera. It is very small. I don't know how to describe it. It's very small. You can look it up. Jazz DB 140 video recorder. Look it up. On the Presario, I checked prices and I saved about $100 on it. So I've got a good machine with a lot of memory and I can do audio work on it. I can edit both audio and video and it, contain, it, it can hold some storage, which the netbook couldn't. Um, and I've also got that external hard drive I can put stuff on. So, you know, until I can get audio up online and while I'm editing it and stuff, because I like to save my edit files just in case I need some sound files or want to re-edit it and remix it for uh, to sell to another station for another purpose, like take an hour documentary and reduce it to a half hour, stuff like that. Break it up into segments so I can do YouTube videos. <sighs> yeah, I've been chased from pillar to post by slumlords and homophobes and criminals and lost a lot. Four goats several cats, all, several dozen chickens, ducks, geese, dogs, cats, a bunch of stuff. And so I don't have a lot to show for how diligent and hard I work and how patient I am and how much endurance I have. Well, this Minecraft, uh, where I ended up, I'm in a, I started in a little hovel on top of a mountain and I've been building and building, working and working, and I don't want to fall down mine holes, so I've been stripping off the top of the mountain slowly so I don't have to fall in holes and get hurt and scared and killed. Um, and I had to go up to the tallest, highest peak of the mountain over my house and cut down the tallest tree because it was on, it was in a pathway where I was going to work. And I got way up in the top of that tree and I looked out over that mountain and I looked at my work the build I'm the bridge I'm building and the way the house has expanded and uh, the strip mine I've built and uh, other um, outbuildings and stuff that I've put in and it's really beautiful what I've done is I, I've block by block stone by stone either placing them or moving them or whatever and dodging cooties I have built something really beautiful up there and I mean it's aesthetically beautiful it's a glass house and inside it's a garden and a library um, this kind of place I always want to live. Even the floors are glass and precious stones. Precious stones were a gift from Brian J. Thank you. Uh, so aesthetically it's beautiful. And I stood on top of that tree and I looked out at all that I had done. And remembered all the cooties that had attacked me. And over here this happened and over there that happened. And there I fell through the ice. And over here I, al I almost got burned alive by lava. And you know... I stood up there and I thought, what a metaphor for my life, because I get no perspective. I don't get to see. It doesn't look like I've managed to do anything. I plant a garden every year and I end up having to move and I don't get to harvest the food, things like that, but I still plant the gardens. I still do the volunteer work. I still, you know, I take the steps and try to establish myself. And so it gave me some perspective on my real life. MS Night 5 has divided this up into several wor worlds. The one without the cooties that blow up. The one with all the cooties. Which I'm just now starting to get brave enough to go in. You can go into the nether world, which is... Well, I don't have a diamond sword. So I just poked in, said, ooh, this is scary. And poked back out again. Um, and she's got this uh, creative world. Where you have God privileges. You can fly. You have unlimited access to resources. You can do anything you want. It's flat green dirt. 
and you can only dig down about three blocks square you'll fall through the world but you can build up and I put in a river and I put in a building with a secret room that's just a beautiful oasis and I she transferred over a little uh, mountain grotto down near it did crash her server and I'm starting to work on that over there and uh, I built the portal station where everybody could go from uh, the main hub out to the outlying villages and have more space to build so they don't have to all be building right around the main hub and um, tested a few things out for her and pushed buttons so she could work on her redstone gadgets. <laughs> My god. You can do electronics in that thing. You can take stuff that was made to assemble railroads and build computers and um, locking mechanisms and elevators and roller coasters and there's some real interesting technology going on with that. So uh, I get to be creative and I get to play and I put in a memorial garden. I'm building um, little honorariums to people and animals that I love and places that are important to me. I call it Pueblo Bonito which is the main kiva up at Chaco Canyon <coughs> which is where I memorialized my daughter because I didn't get they said she was just a pathology specimen and when they removed her from my body they wouldn't give me her remains so I could bury her. She was burned in a furnace. So uh, I named the place Pueblo Bonito for where I left my daughter. I, the uh, order of service from the church service I designed for a memorial to her. I put it up there under a rock. And um, so she's up there with the old ones, with the Anasazi, with the ancient people. And I'm going to make a memorial to my animals. And I'm building one now for Mariana Dengler, who was my junior high school English teacher. Taught me creative writing. Taught me I could write. Taught me I had a voice. Used to bring in Simon and Garfunkel and Bob Dylan and Dylan Thomas and all kinds of subversive stuff. And on those old clunky plastic record players they used to have back in the 70s. And uh, play us music and make us listen to the lyrics and try to understand what they meant. Sounds of silence. You know, stuff like that. Um, so she wrote a book called Fiddle and Sam, which is really about her grandfather, who was a Dust Bowl refugee, and played the fiddle, old-time pioneer country fiddler. And I'm making a big, giant, three-dimensional fiddle. It won't be complete. It won't be both sides. It'll just be one side with a hollow core. Um, and it's huge. It's huge. It must be, um, compared to a real building, it must be about 15, 20 stories tall. Uh, and there's room to do that out there. So yeah, I took two weeks off and went in deep and challenged myself and expressed myself and learned a new technology because I've never played one of these games before. I don't know anything about them. And uh, now I'm back. Back to the dreariness and the drudgery and the deprivation and hustle and work so I can get out. So to all those of you who uh, made donations or sent kind thoughts and offered me computers but didn't follow through, um, thank you. Um, I t like I said, I took out a payday loan and I forgot to tell them to make payments, so they took it all out this morning. I made it. I got a really good computer. I saved about $100 looking online. I saved at least $100 as, uh, compared to Amazon or eBay or any place else. I did Google shopping search. It's a compact presario. I'll have to give you the details on it later because, you know, I can't remember all that stuff. I don't know a gigabyte from a hole in the ground. Uh, I know it's got some decent memory and I know it's got a great video card because it runs that game slick as shit. Oh, I have a lot of YouTube subscriptions to catch up on and somebody sent me the nastiest message. You're not returning my messages. And so I tried to return her message. And I don't even know who this person is. And it said I couldn't contact her because uh, I'm not on her contact list. So then she sent me another message about, it's all about her, about like, you're not being good to me or something like that. No concern for why she hadn't heard from me in two weeks. And um, so I went over to her channel and it said this channel's not available, so I guess she blocked me. I have no idea who it is or what that's all about, but, you know, uh, she said she'd sent me several messages. I don't see them in my inbox, but whatever. Uh, it's not all about you sometimes. Sometimes other people have their own shit, you know? I need to remember that. I need to remember that. I'm going to love this person without her 
permission or participation and then I'm going why aren't you participating and it's like well she never signed up for that so <laughs> uh, people got their own shit it's good to be on top of that mountain and see what I'd accomplished I need to do that more in my real life I need to look at what I have accomplished and not consider myself a failure because of the losses. A lot of the losses were external factors that had nothing to do with me. Other people invaded me and did their thing. So that's it, people. Congratulations, Goxter, on your move to your new house. Sorry the electricity doesn't work and sorry your car is pooped out. That's funny. MS95 and Goxter are both going through the trying to get their car to pass the emissions test and the whatever the official government approval thing is before you're allowed to drive. Goxter's car passed, but it doesn't have any brakes. <laughs> so the beat goes on. So I'm out here in broad daylight and I'm not in my pajamas. You'll be seeing a lot more of me like this. Thank you. Thank you.